Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for Sunday, 6th of November 2016. I hope your weekend is going fine. Today we have the Moon in Capricorn. It is besieged between Pluto and Mars and, and it's conjunct Mars. So what does it all say? First of all, that we have to watch our emotional patterns. We have to watch our um, the way we be both the thin line separating between activity and aggression and there's a lot of energy in the air and we can become overly dramatic and we can become too passionate regarding stuff that is important to us and that could be both positive and negative on the positive side this is a day that we could utilize that energy to take things forward that to do all the activity that needs doing physical activity is heightened today and we can translate all that energy into sensual if not even sexual energy so if you find somebody or you have somebody that you love that honors you and that you feel good with hello georgia i was just talking about somebody that i love you're welcome to join us say goodbye to everybody well she's not that into sitting on me at the moment here say goodbye georgia i know people you'll still be seeing her every few days but not every morning <laughs> so because this is the last day that the forecasts are daily anyway so we can translate that energy to sensual if not sexual energy and of course you can say that your astrologer recommended it anyway and the negative side is that we want to take things forward and we have a very short fuse and we have to watch out for arguments and fights that are not necessary in our life. Not to be so much embroiled in the drama, but to adapt a more logical mind frame that sees things in, the, um, sees things in a long trajectory and not just in a moment. Other than that, from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m., the moon is void, of course. It's not a great time to start new things. And then it moves into Aquarius with an energy that is totally different than the Capricorn energy we experienced in the last two days. It's much more flexible. It's much more about innovation and about change that, and, and, and adaptability as well. And changes can become much more rapid and it does that sextiling Juno so it's much more favorable for long-term relationships whether they be personal or business or friendship which, whichever they are and this the Sun is sextile Pluto it's a time that we find that the inner strength to deal with everything that comes up in our life and we understand how strong we are how powerful we are Mercury is trying in Chiron it's a great time to heal all the little cracks that have um, come up in our relationships in the last couple of days but it's still queen conquers uranus which says hey be flexible and be ready to leave behind some of the concepts that you've been so insistent on keeping other than that venus is trining series we could give much more tlc in our relationships and get much more TLC in our relationships and that's great so things are turning for the positive and I'm reminding everybody that from now on you're going to see me and Georgia every couple of days or every week and you're going to get the uh, astrological information and in neater packages I want to thank you for being with me this is Boaz Feiler goodbye